Okay, hello everyone. Uh, today we're gonna just be reviewing on the cars that will be going into the course Hot Wheels live stream when I build the track, of course. So, first thing is of course all of these, which is the metal machines. I'm gonna put these into the um into the the Hot Wheels live stream. But I don't know if this one or this one will be able to survive the um, the run of it. But at least so we can have sort of a better look on some of them though. I really love the, the muscle car designs that they do. It is literally just beautiful, the muscle car designs. Including like the hyper car or super cars that they make too. And then this beautiful, what you call a sports car. It's just literally beautiful. This is a blue version of the one that I have in yellow. This thing, I love it so much, how the way it looks. It reminds me of the, um, one of the vehicles that's in the Road Beasts in Highway 35. And this, I just love this in general. It literally looks like a beefed up, um, what you call it, uh, a beefed up, uh, that Nissan GTR type of vehicle. And then there goes that beautiful muscle car. And then this will be my second version of this car, which it's clearly a hyper car. But yep, these is of course what's going to be put into it and of course we have this thing which I am gonna put into the course as well as we can see it's a um, a baseline you know a different look to me the truck it looks perfect but I mean they went with the oldest type of design for the back, which is for the phones when you play your music. Like, it's futuristic, but it's very, the trailer is very old style. It's, it's weird. Like, they got the truck perfect, the futuristic look. But the trailer, to me, doesn't make no sense at all. It really just doesn't. But, either way though, it looks really cool. And now, of course, I'm going to be putting this thing through it as well. So, expect to see this there too. This cool type of truck. I love the wide wall type of wheels. Those are my favorite. And of course, I will be sending this thing also through. Which is the Batman Arkham Knight Mobile. Which is this beautiful thing. These are just stuff that I have acquired over time, basically. Okay, let's see what we have here. Now, these are Matchbox cars. Which, of course, I'm going to be putting them through the test. To see if they could survive. So, of course, we have here the 2019 Mazda A3. I'm going to put that into the um, that turbo thing that shoots the cars. And the 2022 Renault Megane or something. I know I'm pronouncing it wrong. But I will say, though, they are good at um, making these designs nice and detailed. Okay, we got here, which is, I'm happy I managed to find actually all these ones in Dollar Tree, which I love the Tesla because of how fast it can go. I just, I just love that. So we have the tes Tesla Roadster, which is that beautiful car. That's the car I wish I had my hands on in real life. And here we have now the Tesla Model X. I love the sparkling 
type of blue that's there and we have the Tesla Model Y to me though the Tesla that looks better is the um, the Tesla Roadster and to me the Y and X they just look like if someone was in a what you call it the that game either BMG I think and just took this and like in the game like lifted this up and then just like widened some stuff up, like very small stuff and then gave it the Tesla Model Y look and just called it that that's how I feel though how, how the way it is and of course here we have some more beautiful ones we have here of course the Ford Custom 300 which is just a beautiful car literally the cars in the old days they they did their job and we have this other one this Dodge sweep swept side pickup which is beautiful and then we have this 1970 Ford Capri as well it's just beautiful very beautiful and now <clears throat> we have of course here the 20, 2018 Toyota Helix to me this car looks beautiful and I'm a big fan of the green I love this green look and then we have this beautiful thing called Drone Duty, which, I mean, it's beautiful. To me, this one is beautiful. I love also how it shows the small guy in there. I mean, literally, this, this car, to me, it could actually be made in real life, Drone Duty. Because I have seen videos of the sizes of drones could be now. And a whole lot of beautiful stuff. Okay. And now we of course have these next ones here. Which is Velosa, Velosa Rap Racer. Which we know this one is in Highway. No. Not Highway. Uh, Hot Wheels Unleashed. This is my favorite type of look for the, um, the Velociraptor. And now we have the Liberty Walk Silhouette Works GT Nissan 35 GT RR version 2. Which is, I think I have heard of Liberty Walk before. I think in Midnight Club Dub Edition for Xbox 360. And here we have the Liberty um, Works, uh, not Walk, Works, yeah. Lamborghini Huracan Coupe. Which I had to get my hands on this. That Lamborghini just is too beautiful. I love literally cars that get the wide body kits. Those are just, just beautiful. Okay, here we have some more. We of course have the Armadillo from the Pixar Lightyear movie. Which I'm going to just have this guy sitting outside around in the live stream in the volcano area and of course we have here the 17 Jeep Wrangler thing looks beautiful this I would also have outside driving all around in the um uh, what you call it in the volcano very nice indeed so far I haven't seen any signs of it being either a super treasure hunt or something, or a treasure hunt like that. Here we have the 20 Toyota Tacoma. It has the, literally, it has the type of design colors though that I would have my truck have if I was to actually have this as a truck. Those beautiful, right here, the looks like carbon fenders. 
and it has that carbon roof scoop type thing. It's just as beautiful. Very beautiful. And now let's take a look at the others as well. Now these ones, it's obvious. I know they cannot go into it, into the thing. But these, what I'm going to do is I'm looking for these uh, these things that I have seen on uh, like other channels that I've seen, like other Hot Wheel YouTubers. The, uh, there's these Matchbox uh, mini sets. Like there's a Pizza Hut version and... Uh, these other ones that it uh, it couldn't the matchbox thing connects to the Hot Wheels, so if I could get my hands on that, I'll be able to have these these beauties. Um, what you call it? Seen in the live stream as well. I really love how the way that it exposes the engine right there. Let me see if I can get it without it being blurry for you guys. Just look at that. Just beautiful. It's literally beautiful. A bus just slammed down to the ground. I love it. And this, I love this type of truck because I'd be watching on YouTube the uh, when they do the live events for these type of um, um, what you call it, trucks. The beautiful Ryujin Express. It's just beautiful. I know it's crazy though how the way they have them, but it's really cool. And of course, it wouldn't be perfect without at least having the most epic Cape Crusader, of course, which is the Batman. So far, I've collected so many of the Batmobiles. So many. But the only thing is though. It's difficult now for me to get the uh, Batman 5 packs since they increased the price, which is way too much. But all we can do is hope in the future prices go down. So here we of course have this Batmobile, which is my favorite. This is literally what I liked in the movie, which was seeing this beautiful thing. And then, of course, here we have the Batman Arkham Asylum Batmobile. This car I only have in Gmod. I drive it around um, Hot Wheel tracks in uh, Gmod a lot. I even have this one in Chrome and, and in Purple. These ones I'm going to open because I already have doubles of these. So, the other one is for the collection. Of course, more that will be featured in the live stream here. We have the 2005 Ford Mustang, and I don't, I think, or if I remember correctly, this was in Forza Horizon. I'm just guessing, but you guys can tell me if I'm wrong or not, which I feel like I am wrong. But I, it just, it remind me of the one in Forza Horizon. And here is the custom 18 Ford Mustang GT, which this one is beautiful. It's like a wide body. Like, it's just, I mean, literally, it's beautiful. And we also, of course, have the 63 Stud Baker Champ. I don't know if this will actually do good in the boosts, because it definitely feels much heavier. But I think it will probably catch like more downforce. I'm just taking a guess here. But it feels like it might fly off the track when I start doing the stuff. And here we have also more beautiful muscle cars. Just beautiful. The 68 Dodge Dart. Which I love driving this in Forza Horizon with the um, Highway 35 livery just beautiful with that comic bodywork look at that the 69 Dodge Charger 500 now this 
I'm not even joking. Once I saw it in Target, I had to grab it. It had to be a part of my muscle cars. I mean, literally, just looking at that, man. Beautiful. I don't know if this is gunmetal silver or some type of graphite color or something like that. Or some type of gray that I or a black that I don't know about. And then here we have Count Muscula. It's a funny name. Because for it to have the name Count Muscula, I would at least like be thinking they would at least put two fangs like in the front of it because of it having that name Count Muscula but it probably has that name for some other reason but it's very beautiful and here we go we have ourselves here a Nissan Maxima drift car with a beautiful wide body I don't know if this is a type of JDM car or it probably could be or could not be but right now I am looking at videos on how to make uh, drift tracks with um, Hot Wheels tracks basically I'm trying to get these big uh, sheets of plastic that also gets used for Gundam model kits to try to create a connector system to have like these type of beauties start drifting so expect to also see a drifting um, thing coming soon as well and here we have the beautiful bone shaker which I love driving in Hot Wheels Unleashed and then we have here the Da Vincinator which is I love it that they made it in this black color with the blue and the white and the chrome is just stress screams sexy. I love it. Next, we of course have which is the sand burner. I love rally vehicles and seeing this one it looked very cool. It has that matte color to it. You can see that translucent uh black color there on that wheel looks really good though and then we have here the cosmic coupe and this is actually something I want to show you guys the best thing about this thing which let me just be right back for now though you see it like this for now and just give me a few now hopefully you guys will be able to see but that beauty is literally glowing in the dark I mean literally look at that dude now I do watch the um the official Hot Wheels uh, uh, channel where they drive like they have the 3d characters driving the only thing I know is is that a mysterious driver drives this it's literally beautiful though okay we got the lights back on now so of course now we have here the Aston Martin V12 Speedster such a beautiful car this one I grabbed it immediately because it did remind me of um, the Hot Wheels Acceleracers um, car that uh, Kurt Wilde I think it's his name it just I just really wanted to get my hands on it and now we have the last three what you call the last three cars and here of course the top which is my favorite I love Corvettes like crazy which is the Corvette C8R just looking at that beauty this thing is literally made to tore up that beautiful roads and hot wheel roads god this thing is beautiful and here we of course we have the GT Scorcher <coughs> excuse me which we of course seen in Hot Wheels Unleashed I managed to actually this is my first ever GT Scorcher and then of course we have the Bully Goat which is this is my first ever Bully Goat the only 
the only time I know I've driven this car is in the Hot Wheels game for the PSP, the PlayStation Portable. Uh, which they also have uh, uh, tracks that is reminiscent to Acceleracers. But I love driving this thing, the um, Bully Goat. And that game is really good. So, everyone, that's all the featured vehicles, of course, today, of what I collected so far that will be taking place in the, um, the live stream that'll soon be coming, soon. So, you guys can also let me know in the comments what is your favorite, uh, what you call it, car. And I don't know if I did show, actually. Uh, here we go. The names of the cars that are in this metal machines. Nitro Rider, Escape, Kinetic, Typhoon, Zing, Rush, Duty, Horizon, Spectre, and Scorpio. So you guys can let me know, of course. Just in case you guys don't got the names yet. But I do hope though you all enjoy. Be safe and healthy, everyone, and don't forget to leave a like as well. Goodbye, everybody.